Hello and welcome to Majid's Kitchen, a simple and delicious treat for when you don't have much time. I decided to make this a two-part video so that you can follow the steps easily and see what's exciting toward the end of the second part of the video. Dry and wet ingredients aside, we've melted the butter and now we're going to sift the dry ingredients and make sure there's no lumps in the flour and the cocoa powder. Give the salt, cocoa powder and flour a good mix and then we'll work on the wet ingredients. Next we'll cream the egg yolk and the sugar together. Add in the melted butter. Then add the milk to the egg mixture. Let's make the batter by adding in the dry ingredients which is flour and cocoa powder mix. Whisk the single egg white until nice and foamy. No stiff beats necessary. Then just add it to the crepe batter and fold it in gently. Let the crepe batter rest in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. When ready, heat up a non-stick pan and let's make the crepes. If the batter is too thick, just add a little bit of milk to make it loose enough to be able to form the crepe, allowing it to flow into a beautiful circle. Turn them over and lightly cook the other side. After your first crepe, keep the heat on medium. Crepes usually take about 40 to 55 seconds to cook on each side, depending on thickness. And for a simple presentation, I'm filling this crepe with Chantilly cream. This is done by whipping one cup of heavy cream with one or two tablespoons of icing sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have washed some fresh strawberries and cut them into quarters with some addition of sugar and allowed it to macerate. 
Crepes are a canvas for your culinary imagination. And there you have it, a simple yet irresistible chocolate crepe full of fresh strawberries and whipped cream. The rich chocolate crepe with the sweetness of strawberries and the lightness of whipped cream is the perfect treat. I hope you give this recipe a try and make it your own. If you're looking for more recipe inspiration, follow me on Instagram and Pinterest for behind the scenes tips and delicious photos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.